humble, so my coach, uh, Shane, thinks I'm going to knock him out in the third. So. Wait, Shane's training with you? Sugar Shane Moses training. What? Yeah, right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> My guy. Oh! <laughs> My guy. Really? No. So he's saying third round knockout. I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. I'm saying it's not going to go six rounds. but Yeah, I don't think it's going to go six, but uh, probably like three. Maybe three and a half. Okay. Yeah. So how is he looking? How's Jake he's looking? He's looking good. He has you know, good speed, good power, and you know, I really put him to the test. I, I had him spar with some, some pretty good guys, uh -huh. and you know, he, he didn't quit. There was no quit. He got hit with some good shots, didn't quit, and he kept going. So I'm, I'm fight I'm, ready. He's fight ready. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of that. It's not only, knowing, knowing that he can, he can uh, he can throw. He has good uh, technique, speed, and power. Yeah. But he also can can get you know get it too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like somebody come at him, then he's gonna he's gonna fight through it. And I and I'm really I'm really happy with the way that he's uh, progressed. How did you? How, wait, how did this we, we happen? Got, we, we got, we we, got, we we've got been friends. Yeah, we've been friends for a while. So okay. I, we met when I was 18 because. Um, his kids were, were fans, and he's like, yo, I'm gonna bring him by the house. Yeah. And uh, so we've just stayed in touch ever since. And when I started doing the boxing stuff, he's like, yo, like, let me help you out. I know I'll show you a this few tricks. Yeah, this <laughs> Loki, this. So Loki, this is fam. Yeah, yeah, family. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah so wow. We're just, so we're just working on, you know. Yeah, that's how, dope, how hard is uh, Big Bear at high altitude? Oh my God. It's like, people <laughs> don't understand until you actually do it, but it's like, it's twice as hard. So if you do six rounds in Big Bear, it's like 12 rounds down the hill. Yeah. But it drains the energy out of you, like to your bones. Like you feel tired in your bones, like to the core of your muscle. But it's been a big, big, big help, uh, helping me get 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 more in shape and just being up there alone, like uh, away from distractions, away from everything in the LA scenery, and just only focusing on boxing, watching fight film, being in the gym. It, it, the gym's in the garage, so yeah. we're just always working. Grinding. Uh, and and. Like I said, we have three weeks until Thursday, January 30th in Miami, but I'm ready to fight right now, so it's just exciting. Speaking of that date, that's Max. the same Super Bowl weekend. Super Bowl Are weekend. Are y'all going to go to a Super Bowl too? You already know. Go Ravens. <laughs> All right? <laughs> go Ravens. Yeah, after party at 11. Uh -huh. um, so it's, it's going to be a movie. Like, I love Miami. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think Giblet has ever been there, so we're going to show him a good time after I knock him out. If he okay. behaves. Okay. If he behaves yeah. during this uh, That's good conference. sportsmanship. Yeah, That's you already know. That's good sportsmanship right you there. You already know. Beat him up and party up <laughs> Beat him up. Get him, get him a lap dance at 11. You already know. <laughs> is Bieber walked out your brother. Is he going to walk you out? Um, I, I feel like Bieber won't come until I fight KSI, especially because it's in Miami as well. Okay. Um, but I'm kind of dedicating this fight to America because there's like this UK versus America feud. Got it. So uh, I'm really putting on for America with this. and I'm going to be walking out with some troops uh, from our military. So. Um, really, you seem focused, headspace. Yeah. How are we doing since the breakup? Oh, good, good, good. I uh, I fell out of love with Tana and fell in love with boxing. So that's I always love her, but uh, replace, replace but I'm focused. Love. Yeah, I'm focused, and you know uh, it's better off as friends for us. And you know we we uh, we're still very supportive of each other. We have a couple things that we're working on for 2020. She's actually gonna be here today, like helping co-host. So say what? It's exciting. Yeah, she's gonna be co ho helping host today. Really? You're like <laughs> <they're> full <laughs> of surprises. You just dropping all the jewels on me, bro. You already know. <laughs> Jay, you didn't have a Christmas. You didn't have a New Year's. Was it tough for the first time that you can't celebrate because you're in camp? You know, I'm used to that type of dedication and hard work. I'll, my birthday's in like two weeks as well, I'm gonna, or yeah, in 10 17, days. Right? So I'm going to be training from, through my birthday, but there's going to be plenty of time to celebrate. There's always time to celebrate. There's always big parties. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not too, too worried about missing out on that type of stuff because it's always there. You know, the nightlife and the fun <laughs> is something that uh, never goes away. So uh, the dedication is there. I'm ready. I'm focused. But... You know, Christmas and New Year's, we were just punching. <laughs> Literally, I'm just like. Eh, 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 eh. Where, where do you rate his power, Shane? Man, I mean, he has pretty, he has pretty good power. He was down the street with uh, Abel Sanchez Jim sparring with. I don't know his whole name, but I know that it's Sergey. 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 Sergey, Sergey Boachuk. Sergey Boachuk. Yeah, he was, was sparring with him. He was sparring with him, and, and that's why I was saying that I put him to a test. But Sergey, Sergey hit him with some really hard shots, and I think that he was gaining the respect of Sergey. When he was throwing punches at Sergey, so um, you know, even though he's a little bit bigger, he's, uh, but Sergey 154, but still, I mean, to be able to get the respect that right Sergey, not to really run in, is is pretty good. I think also for me that like, I feel like I have natural power from being a wrestler, but I think what we're focusing on is like timing yes. and having that good timing for for when the right shot lands, he's gonna drop. 
Can we add uh, your brother and Antonio Brown to the undercard? Antonio Brown versus Logan Paul. I think it'll happen. I think like Antonio Brown needs it. It makes sense. It's, it'll be a big fight. They're both athletes. Uh, Are they serious? I think they're serious. Okay. They're really? I mean, think about it. Antonio Brown needs money right now. He doesn't have much going on. His rap video. What? <laughs> His rap song? Oh, no. He has a YouTube channel. He has a whole lot of money. His new rap song that just came out. It's Anyways, called a whole lot of money. It's called a whole if, lot if, of money. If you make a rap song called a whole lot of money, you should never be a rapper <laughs> in your life. You should quit rapping. He has this uh, No More White Woman campaign in 2020. What do you make of that? I, I don't I don't know. It like seems kind of racist, but I don't know. <laughs> like Let's like imagine if it was the other way around. Any like in some in some other and some guy was like saying that like you know. Yeah. But who knows? Given the Antonio Brown crazy. and Logan thing, how uh, have they talked to any promoters yet? Have y'all talked? I don't know. I have no idea. Probably. I, I imagine I imagine Eddie Hearn eyes lit up. He's yeah. like, <laughs> you can make some money there. So. But, but do you think your brother can? I mean, he's a future Hall of Famer. Do you think your brother can hold up against? Yeah, so I talked about it with Logan, and what it comes down to at the end of the day is like you can be the best athlete in the world, but boxing is just different. Yeah. If you if you have the best athlete in the world and you just throw him in with the the ring in the ring with a guy who's out of shape, but he's been boxing 20 years, the boxer for 20 years is gonna beat that kid's ass. So, you know, it's all about the skill in, in boxing, and I think Logan would be able to make make easy work of him. I just think Antonio Brown would be fast. That's really it. Jake, you have a lot of confidence. You can tell you started in here like McGregor. Yeah. <laughs> McGregor. I'm going the beard yeah. like McGregor. <laughs> They're saying I'm McGregor's son. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling super confident. Uh, I'm ready to get this W. You know, I, there's nothing he can do and nothing that we aren't prepared for. Uh, so it's going to, you know, the, the, we, we say this in camp, but the easiest day is going to be the night of the fight. True. You know, we've already put in the hard work. I, I've I've had practices where by the end of it, like I'm like all, like I'm emotional because of how physically and mentally drained I am. So we've pushed it to the limit and but we're just ready to go. What are you guys doing in those training sessions? Uh, <laughs> yeah, everything. Uh, fighting bears. Um, there's, there's, doing that Khabib training. Yeah, Khabib yeah, yeah. training, swimming in rivers, jumping in jumping in Big Bear Lake uh, for ice baths. Uh, but yeah. Pretty What's a typical I mean, training session like over there? I mean, you get up in the morning, does this road work, and you know, um, I make sure that uh, the training session is just not us hitting the bag and punching. So training is also, you know, what you eat, and how you sleep. You have to get your rest too at, at the same time. So a lot of people think they just go and work out, work out really hard, and maybe run 20 miles or 10 miles. That, that doesn't do you any good. So you have to have a system where you. Yeah, you run, have your breakfast, you eat, come back, work out again, you know, maybe rest a little more and then come back again sometimes. Now we're kind of we're breaking it down because we're coming in, we're getting ready to come in to fight, so we don't need to, you know, overwork. Anymore. Shane, this is the first time we're talking to you since the big announcement. You're in the Hall of Fame now. How does it feel? Yeah. Let's go. Well deserved. Well deserved. Let's hey, go. Man, it feels great, man. It's a great feeling because, you know, when you're younger, you always dream about being you know, one of the best and great, and going to the Hall of Fame, I mean, that's a big thing, because a lot, a lot of people don't go to the Hall of Fame, they don't get a chance to. So, um, for me to be able to make that, that's just you know, the, the biggest honor, and, you know, I believe in boxing. Shane, if a Hall of Famer like you can take him serious, what do you say to the critics uh, that are throwing shade at the YouTube fights? It's almost like the future of boxing or whatnot. I mean, it's not the future of boxing, but it is, it's, 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 it's the future, it's the entertainment, and it brings a lot of people to boxing, so they can get the younger generation, they can get a chance to say, because they, they were saying that MMA and UFC was doing that, but to have Jake, you know, step forward and want to be, and want to, you know, compete as a boxer, and and be serious and go to go to Big Bear and train uh, through Christmas and and, and and be a fighter. That that's that's a, that's honor. That's honorable. Jake, Fair. you have the better record between you and your brother. Yeah. Who you you feel is the better boxer? I'm definitely the better boxer. <laughs> I'm a better technician. I listen more, um, and you know I don't think he has that like killer mentality. People have like talked about us fighting. And he's like, I don't know if I could punch you in the face, man. Like y'all had before. I'd be like, bro, I would punch you in the face right now. <laughs> so I don't think he has that killer mentality. Yeah. Um, but he he's got power and, and speed, and he's a great athlete. What did you learn from his fight against KSI? Uh, any, anything can happen. 
honestly, and, and not to leave it up to the judges. I, I am, I'm going to end this kid before it goes to the judges because the referee can make any decision and it can come back and bite you in the ass. My guys, we're gonna, it's we're your birthday weekend, the 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 same the fight as uh, Conor McGregor. Yeah, weekend. yeah, so, so yeah, Conor's fighting the day after my birthday. Yeah, so what do you feel about the return? You going to Cowboy Cerrone? Yeah, I think Conor's going to win for sure. I think it'll be in the later rounds. I think he'll get that the TKO or submission, but... He needs to win. He need, he has to. If he doesn't win, his career is over. You know, that's a lot of pressure. Uh, so, but I, I think uh, under pressure, diamonds are created. Uh, I operate well under pressure, and I'm sure he does as well. Like, that's, that, you know, he feeds off of that. So. Where's this Absolutely. Uh, Thanks so much, coming from with Dylan Dennis and all that? Where did all that start? Dylan Dennis is a fanboy. Uh, at the end of the day, from <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, like, the top. <laughs> where, where is this all coming from? How did it all start? Uh, I, I honestly, I think he just started talking shit about the Pauls. Uh, every other tweet, he he talks about me or my brother, and that's how he's gotten clout. Uh, he's just a shit talker. He can't fight. He has no hands. The only thing he relies on is taking people down and submitting them. Uh, you know, I see eventually either Logan or I. Uh, TKO and Dylan Dennis and, and, and just ending that shit talk because at this point he's just an annoying mosquito that just doesn't go away and uh, that you know he's just he's just a fan of us and just doesn't shut up so that's the way I see it.